thank you so much to everybody that did watch and did support me and even said that they would subscribe so thank you very much that makes my day i appreciate it very much um there goes that up what i want to talk about first is someone asked about amanda who uh, has uh, does the uh, the supplies for hcg basics um, asked about her pregnancy she's doing great uh, she has a little bit of pregnancy sickness which is normal and well, I won't say a little bit it sounds like she's got a lot of it but as we know a lot of women that have a lot of sickness have a very healthy baby which is basically like healthy as a horse so that's a good thing and she's gonna have a boy and she was also saying that she definitely plans to back be back on HCG in the summer so I'm sure once she gets back on that she'll also be doing the blogs too so we can all look forward to seeing her back with that that'd be great and I also want to let you know that I was very excited this morning I got on the scale and I had released another 1.6 pounds so that of course made my morning that was that was really fun to see and I wanted to also go over what I ate this last week uh, on the first week of protocol I've listened to a lot of people say a lot of different things and um, there's reasons why I take stay away from some of the things that people talk about because it seems like it then kind of tends them to have a, I don't want to say, let's say a stall, but it seems like it, they may get a little bit more frustrated with things because of what they incorporate, even though it is part of protocol too. For instance, beef. I have not touched any beef. I'm doing that because it just seems like anyone I see on blogs, it seems like once they have some beef, they kind of say either they didn't lose or they didn't lose as much as they expected. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of people, well, some people, not a bunch. I'll probably get maybe one person that tells me, you know, because that's the one person that did watch me <laughs> that'll say, oh, I have beef and I have no problem at all. But I just, I want to kind of stack my cards in my favor as far as getting a good result and feeling locked into the plant. So what I do is I pretty much have chicken, uh, the breast of chicken, the 3.5 ounces and or shrimp. And I've even heard people say shrimp kind of, you know, messes them up. But for me, shrimp, shrimp seems fine. I did just try the white fish um, tapatia. I told my husband I'm sorry I just I I have this this brain freeze when it comes to how to say that fish so I think you guys would all know what it what one I'm talking about it's the white fish it's cheap you know cheap to buy tastes good I got it at Trader Joe's liked it a lot and since I ate that last night and I got such a good result this morning I thought since I had to cut it up anyway for the weight factor of it um, I, I ate it again this evening and now what I want also explain as far as vegetables, I pretty much stick with spinach and then as of lately, um, asparagus. Now before that I was doing a lot of spinach and then a lot of lettuce. And what I was putting on the lettuce was apple cider vinegar because even before I heard a lot of bloggers and also people on um, HCG groups on the internet talk about the apple cider vinegar being good for the protocol in general as far as helping you release fat and just different things it does for you. I thought, well, that would probably be good to be, be something good to put on the lettuce so that it, you know, kind of helps liven up the flavor. So I was doing that, but then on last Friday, I went to the dentist and I had that Zoom treatment done on my teeth. And I expected some sensitivity, but I had a lot of sensitivity and not just on the teeth, but actually the roof of my mouth felt like it does when you burn your mouth. Uh, the roof of my mouth and so I thought well, I better not try to have the vinegar on the lettuce because it's gonna hurt really bad so I went ahead and um, I I opted out not to have that but then I was starting to get concerned that if I didn't have it for the just for basically you know as part of my protocol that I might mess up with my weight loss so I went ahead and I, I thought I was being a brainiac and wasn't because what I did was I took a tablespoon of it and I tried to put the spoon as far back so that it wouldn't really touch my mouth but it would just go down my throat and I guess I didn't realize that my esophagus was also somewhat burned from the treatment because it hurt like a mofo um, oh my goodness I just have not felt that kind of pain I really thought if there wasn't something going down my throat I would just flip and scream but uh, I just had actually some tea right next to me, you know, uh, 
room temperature tea. It didn't, it didn't burn me uh, to drink right, like as a chaser right after, thank goodness. And it still stung like I had just totally burned up my, my esophagus, so that was very painful. But since that one day, uh, it's been fine. I have been able to take the apple cider vinegar and put it as far back in my mouth as I can and take it, but I haven't done the, le the salads or the lettuce yet because I just feel like the roof of my mouth is still too tender and I don't want the vinegar, you know, killing me on that. So it's pretty much been stuck with, you know, the, I've been sticking with, not stuck with, but sticking with the chicken, the white fish, and the asparagus or spinach, and then of course I have an apple, and then I, I have uh, two apples. One apple I actually eat around 11 o'clock in the morning. I cut it up in really small bits so that I kind of can just nosh on it throughout the day up until about afternoon. And then I have my lunch a little after one. And then I have my dinner when I get home after work and anywhere from like 5.36 or on. And then I have another apple there. The thing is that the HCG does do what it's supposed to do as far as help cut the hunger. And I've noticed that each day that I'm on it, it does help more and more with that. I think I was a little impatient the first few days thinking that, you know, there was going to be absolutely no pang whatsoever. Like I would just feel full all the time because I was hearing people talk about how they would try to eat their 500 calories and even those little meals were tough for them to get down. I haven't had that. This I'm very intrigued with it and excited about, not only because of what the manuscript from the doctor spoke of, but just these testimonials, people talking about it, the vlogging, the support. I think that is just, it's such, it's such a fun, incredible thing to be able to be a part of. And that's what I'm really appreciating. So anyway, I also wanted to let you know that as I do these vlogs, um, and, oh, one thing too, notice how it's a lot lighter today. I'm in a lot lighter area. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I try to use a room that I thought would be quiet and also have kind of a nice, you know, background to it and whatnot. But I, I ended up looking like I was in the witness protection program, you know, it was so dark so I moved on to actually I'm sitting on a dog bed tonight <laughs> in my bedroom uh, with as many lights on as I can so uh, that's why there's the difference there but speaking of dog beds I have four dogs and I do plan on throughout my vlogs to kind of introduce them to you too because I know when I watch other people's vlogs I'm really excited that they show their dogs um, so I thought well if I'm excited to see their dogs maybe you'd like to see mine too they're really cute and they're very supportive on my on my protocol so I you know want to bring them in as part of my team members so anyway I'm gonna finish it for tonight hope I hopefully I get some comments and support and you know some people that that kind of like you know the info that I'm giving give me some advice if there's anything else or anything I should change that you think I should talk about say explain let me know I'll be happy to do it I really would I love helping people that's that's my fault. I'm, it's almost to a fault. I love to help people so much that people sometimes tell me I should knock it off, but I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will talk to you later.